is my first attempt at vlogging. Uh, we are in Paris, in what we call the Quartier Latin, or the Latin district. And uh, yeah, this is one of the oldest parts of the city. And um, there are lots of tourists, as you can see. Um, so we are going to go on the Saint-Michel place, which is a place I, I really love because you have lots of bookshops all around. So over there you have uh, what we call Giber Jeune, which is a, um, a brand of bookshops and they have several locations on this uh, place to begin with. So, oops. so here you have the bookshop dedicated to uh, medicine, law, um, science. If we move over there a little further, you have DIY, uh, stationery, and uh, behind the kiosk here, no, I want to turn around, you have um, foreign literature and a small, small uh, section uh, with books in foreign languages that is not really worth mentioning. So here is the fountain on the Saint Michel place. And uh, the biggest part of uh, Gibergen bookshops, the biggest building is this one. They own the building up to the to the attic. This is the main building where we, you have um, mass market paperbacks, uh, children's books, and all that good stuff. So uh, it's an interesting uh, place to go uh, book shopping if you speak French. But uh, if you want to buy books in English, Hello? I have better, better spots to show you. So this is what I'm going to explore with you today. Uh, we'll stick to the Quartier Latin for today, which is my, my favorite place uh, in the city, as I've said, and uh, the, the best place to go book shopping, uh, including books in, in English. So next stop, Shakespeare and Co. to Shakespeare and Co, uh, which is a it's not location uh, where Shakespeare, uh, Shakespeare and Co and company was at the beginning of the 19th, uh, 20th century, sorry. This is not the place Hemingway and Scott Fisher are new. Uh, this, this was relocated, uh, but of course, uh, I guess you've heard of it. I see a lot of tourists coming here. This is a place I like, but to be quite frank with you, I never buy my books here. Once you get inside the shop, there's not lots of choice uh, in books, and uh, except for those little displays here on the pavement outside of the shop, um, the books are quite expensive. They're mostly new, and. Uh, this is not the best place to buy books in English in Paris, I'm sorry to say. Though it still has a lot of charm and uh, it's an in institution in its own right. Um, I'm not overly... I wouldn't recommend buying your books here uh, if you want to save money. And look who we are here. My favorite old lady in Paris. Still standing. She's still here. She's been standing for hundreds of years now. She'll still be here once we all turn to dust. No worries, folks. <laughs> She's uh, stronger than she looks right now. <laughs> okay. So let's walk around. This is my favorite church in France, which is saying something because, as you may know, uh, I have a PhD in. Uh, medieval art history so I've studied and visited lots and lots of medieval churches and castles and, and palaces and whatnot and uh, I still come back to her this is still my favorite and uh, don't be distressed by her current state 
we will rebuild. She will be as beautiful as ever. She's seen a lot of shit in a hundred plus years of existence. She'll see more. Notre Dame, fear not. She will be standing for a long time to come. So, right here, we will go see another church I really love uh, from the Middle Ages. Please allow me this little fantasy and then we will be back to uh, bookshops in the Latin district or Quartier Latin. Uh, if you're a fan of uh, the TV show Islander, you will probably recognize this place. Uh, <laughs> let me just uh, walk you through the streets. So we are turning our back on Notre Dame for now and walking towards uh, one of my favorite places in, in this uh, little part of Paris, uh, well, back in time. This is the church Saint-Julien-le-Pauvre, one of the oldest churches uh, still standing in Paris. Uh, as you can see, it has suffered during the French Revolution, like, like most churches, of course. And um, yeah, so if we turn around, this is the place uh, where one of the main characters uh, in Islander, the TV show, used to stand. I'm an old monk, I believe, a friend of, of the, the protagonist. So yeah, it might bring, bring you uh, memories. And uh, next stop, we will go to a Canadian bookshop uh, I really love. Okay, so uh, we've walked uh, for two minutes. This is a, a very small area in Paris. Of course, this is the oldest part of the city, so uh, old medieval streets, as you can see. We're turning on back on the church of saint Severin, which is one of the oldest parishes uh, in Paris. Beautiful, beautiful Gothic church. Uh, of the Gothic flamboyant style. Uh, perhaps I will vlog or visit uh, another day if you want me to. But for now, we will go over there. You see the owner of the shop, of the bookshop, is outside talking with potential customers, I guess. This place is great. This is, you know, the cave of wonders. And, uh, if you're not afraid of uh, mold and uh, and going inside uh, uh, damp uh, caves <laughs> and uh, basements, <laughs> you might find true treasures uh, in this bookshop. Uh, you have books in French, books in English, new releases, old editions. Uh, you you have to be ready to dig deep. <laughs> Uh, inside the shop, um, but uh, this is a great place to buy very, very cheap um, books in English, especially. Uh, they might be in the most pristine condition, but uh, if you're on the budget, uh, I would suggest starting here. So this is a Canadian bookshop in the Rue de la Archeminerie. Okay, folks. Last, but certainly not least, my favorite bookshop in Paris, Gibert Joseph. So I showed you Gibert Jeune at the beginning of this video, which was on the, uh, in several bookshops on the Saint Michel Pla Place, or Plaza, whatever you want to call it. This whole building is a bookshop. Uh, they also have shops over there where you can buy stationery, birthday cards, pencils, uh, that sort of thing. But the main building, is here. So we are turning our back on the National Museum of the Middle Ages, Museum of Cluny, uh, which has been restored, rebuilt recently, uh, which we are discovering lots of new, its new glory today, with a whole new pedestrian street. Uh, uh, we are used to be uh, a regular street here with cars, and now it's only for pedestrians, which is Perfect. So, what we're going to do? So, we are going to go inside Gilbert Joseph. Um, 
I will show you uh, the, my favorite sections of this uh, huge, huge bookshop. Uh, we'll go to the mass market paperbacks uh, section, which uh, is an entire floor, and I will show you the section with uh, books in original languages, and especially in English, which is where I buy most of my books in English. So, across the street, we are at the foot of the building, Gilbert Joseph. Here, you have displays uh, on the street, on the pavement, here. Uh, and uh, we are going to go inside, I hope I don't have any trouble with the, the security checkpoint at the entrance. And I will show you the best parts of this huge bookshop. Floor at street level. Uh, you have all the um, traveling guides. You see, you want to go to Portugal or the Netherlands? Here we go. Travel uh, stories and all that good stuff. Maps, tidbits. All the plane and trips and all that good stuff. Children's books are downstairs in the basement. And here you have a layout And you see each room um, has its specific sections. So we're going on the second floor. Here, Pushotek, which is the last book in the Literature is the original language, literature and reading. So we're going on the second floor. And we'll show you the time. So we are on our way to the second floor. Um, once you get here, the first thing you have to see are mask like paperbacks, are mysteries and thrillers. Let's have a look. Over there. Oh, let's watch the Agatha Christie, for instance. So, how this works? So you have, for instance, Associé contre le crime, or black coffee. This copy is new. See? 5 euro point 60. This copy of the same book is second hand 3.60. So you, you save 2 euros and it's, it's in good condition. So, what you will want to check out are these yellow stickers over there. They show that these books are sold d'occasion, which means second hand, in contrast to the new ones that don't have the yellow stickers. So when I come here, usually I walk around. I like to spend a lot of time here. So let me give you an overview. See? This place is huge. You have new releases on display and all that good stuff. Let's have a look to foreign literature in French. So these are mass market paperbacks in French. Translations of foreign literature in French. So, Wilkie Collins for instance. This copy of Armadale is new. This one, this one, those are uh, second hand. And as usual, in good condition. When uh, Gilbert Joseph buys second hand books to sellers, people like you and me or professional, um, professionals, they make sure that the books are in good condition before buying them. So, what we're going to do, we're going to have a little tour of the entire floor and then I will take you to the English section. So you see lots and lots of yellow stickers, lots of books second hand. Folks, this is where I spend <laughs> the biggest chunk of my uh, budget for books. 
I love this place so much. So, so much. For book lovers, this is just heaven. Look at that. Mass market paperbacks, as far as the eye can see. And we get to French literature section. One of my favorite books. Not from the Underground by Dostoevsky. Love this book. Here you have translations from Greek and Latin. Those are the kind of books I had to study uh, in high school and at the university. I studied Latin. I studied in Greek, but um, my field was really Latin and medieval Latin at that. There we go. Translations of classics. Homer. The Odyssey. Books for students. Special editions for students. Philosophy is over there. Huge, huge section of philosophy as well. I told you this place is gorgeous. Then we'll get to essays about theater, translations of medieval texts. So this is a section where, at some point in my life, I used to spend a lot of money, of course, on my studies. Italian literature, Portuguese literature, uh, in the original language, like I said. It says about different literary movements and genres, all that good stuff. Spanish literature, well, Spain and Latin America, of course. And we get to another one of my favorite parts, English section. So, you have the new releases, or the bestsellers. What I really love is that the sellers in the shop, once they read the book, they write a little card with what they loved about the book, a summary, stuff like that. I like to check it out. We have beautiful editions, like you know, the cloth bound. Of course, you all know these. These can be rather expensive uh, when you buy them new, but uh, if you find them you know, second hand here, uh, this, this is where I, I can spend a lot of money as well. Uh, sometimes I get a little carried away in this particular section of the bookshop. You can't blame me, right? I mean, look at that. Look at all those little stickers. This is insane. We stick to literature in English, and here you have the section with sci-fi, fantasy, you know, Robert Jordan, Stephen King, all that good stuff. Sorry, Steve, I don't know why about Stephen King. <laughs> no matter what you say, but yeah, Harry Potter, all editions. Crime stories. All I can call it are here. Vision. You know, all the good stuff. Here, James. So, yeah, if you live in Paris or are just passing by and you want to buy books, 
uh, second hand books uh, in good condition for a reasonable price. If you want to save some money, come to Gilbert Joseph. Uh, I'm not sponsored or anything, of course. <laughs> it's just that I have bought lots of books over decades in Paris, and uh, this is still my favorite, favorite place to go shopping, whether for French mass market paperbacks or English books.